William Allen here for GetMoreSports.com, and the Gonzaga Bulldogs have a big finish up to the season coming up. Uh, not only do they have road games against San Diego and BYU, uh, certainly traveling to Provo will be high on their priority list to get a win because they already lost to BYU at home. Uh, th these are big games because they have to win them. You have no margin for error. You cannot lose these games if you are Gonzaga. Why? Because you do not need the committee to have any more ammo than they already do to leave you out of the NCAA tournament. You do not th need the committee to have any more ammo than they already do uh, to look at your resume and ask, where are the wins? Because they're not there. They're simply not there. They haven't beaten a top 100 RPI team since November 27th when they beat UConn. Uh, every opportunity they've had since then has fallen by the wayside. You talk about losses to SMU, losses to UCLA. Uh, th these are teams that, sure, are, are solid teams, especially when talking about SMU. But you've got to get some wins. You've got to separate yourself from the field. And Gonzaga has not been able to do that this season, uh, especially when you get swept uh, on the season, both at home and on the road to St. Mary's, and you lose at home to BYU. There goes your uh, there goes your options. There goes your fallback plan. In a conference that's never going to afford you many options for top 50 RPI wins, even top 100 RPI wins, you have to take advantage of the ones that are given to you. They haven't. Now, you go on the road, you beat BYU, you're in decent shape. You're still probably on the outside looking in in terms of an at-large bid, but you go into the conference tournament with a little bit of momentum because right now, it looks like Gonzaga has to win that tournament uh, to get into the big one, uh, into the field of 68 for the big dance, the NCAA tournament, where Gonzaga makes their mark. Without that, Mark Few's group will be staying home.